And good morning everyone, magandang umaga po, uh, beautiful Tuesday. Pasensya na wala tayo kahapon, I was still in Manila, um, kagabi yung flight namin. Kaya hindi ako nakapag-daily grind. Medyo mahina pa rin ang internet sa Manila, kaya mahirap, mahirap mag-live. But anyways, we're back with the daily grind. Um, thank you so much sa mga lahat ng nag-attend last Sunday sa event natin sa... Uh, dyan sa Ascot Hotel sa katabi lang ng PSE pala yun hindi ko alam, pagtingin ko, lolo andan yung PSE mo pala na building <laughs> but anyways, yes um, it was a very successful event um, uy, meron uh, nga pala um, last Saturday yung Pinos ko with Marvin Guillermo yeah um, we, were, we talked to each other and we had, uh, he had an interview with me, yeah, we were talking about investments You know, so check it out if ever lalabas na yung video. I'm not sure when siya lalabas, but yeah, it was a very big opportunity for us. Um, uh, very grateful for Mr. Marvin Guillermo for invite- inviting us. And ayun, idol ko yun. And at last, nakita, nakita ko na rin personal si Marvin Guillermo. Um, uh, Randall Chongson was also there. It was an event by Randall Chongson. And isa sa... Um, fellow top uh, endorser ko sa Itoro was an expecting for Mr. Nas Daily um, kilala niyo po si Nas yung sa Nas Daily that's one minute uh, let's get rich together <laughs> yeah uh, um, he, their group is the one of the best uh, top investors of Ito I mean not just investors but endorsers of Itoro worldwide naman sila ako sa Pilipinas lang mga big time yan and we talk to each other last Saturday. It was a very inspiring event. Um, so yeah, um, today our topic is gonna be um, top 3 na traders na pwede niyo kopya this October. Um, is this gonna be good? Because I think the stock market of US is gonna be shaky in the next coming month. So, naghahanap po tayo ng mga traders na magandang i-copy for October onwards. Um, I have a few. I have yung 3 na i-mention ko po sa inyo who are not focused into stocks pinakamaganda i-trade ngayon are commodities and uh, what they call this um, forex so these are the top traders I can find for you discuss po natin yan in a bit good morning everyone let me go to the comments and good morning to my daughter Laika it's very nice to see you all again and it, be in the daily grind again na-miss ko kayo right um, please share the video share po ang video sa Facebook walls po ninyo and to your um, trading groups if you have any trading groups please share to the trading groups that you have San, para naman po mga traders doon uh, ma, magabayan po natin sa stock market journey nila all right so let's start i'll go to the ano i'll go to the comments um, air plata good morning uh, coach and like and miss apple thank you air plata Jose Tomondong, morning idol joel algaras good morning sir lloyd and like good morning then joel Anat Mail, good morning. Uh, sir, any insights po kay McDo and General Motors? Alright, so this is international mar- market right off the bat. Um, yeah, um, McDo is one of the best companies out there. Kasi ganito eh. Talk to 
um, others uh, about uh, Macdo, about investing in Macdo. I was supposed to get in Macdo here. This is a good dip already, but I thought it was gonna go on a downtrend. Pero bumalik rin kagad. Um, explanation was, kahit po magkagulo sa China, sa US, or anywhere, people will not stop eating. Kaya si Macdo nag-recover din kagad. Um, this is a very good stock to get into. Wait for the next dip. And maybe it will confirm the support. If it confirms the support, that's a much, much better entry uh, for, ano, for, for Macdo. But this is definitely a very good company. Um, to get into General Motors for from Air Plata paren General Motors Corporation G Electronics in GE yeah. right so General Motors um, I haven't been checking the fundamentals of General Mot Motors but somehow resistances are going down pero nag upper bollinger band triggers naman siya and good price action naman nangyayari so yeah um this might be good um, maganda bang earnings the general motors yeah i know general motors has been doing well lately um gandi all right um we have a possible bounce right here already price action is doing good maybe if it will confirm the support short term support at the very least a year pwede natin pasukin yan dyan, okay so this is a good find general motors especially na nasa baba siya at nasa supports pa siya naglalaro ngayon right so this you can definitely test this out pag nag, nag green na yan um hotsaki uh kaloy 62 good morning then apple and laika thank you air plata have a great day and god bless you always thank you um, Tommy Escobedo, good morning, coach. At sa lahat ng viewers, Meg at LHC, si Meg. Uy, si PSEI. Wanna talk about PSEI first before we go to Meg. Yeah, si PSEI, sadly. Nope. Sadly, bumagsak na naman kahapon. Ayun, um, laki ng volume. Uh, medyo malaki yung volume niya and it's on a sell-off volume. We're touching the lower Bollinger Band, so we have momentum on the downside. So, konti ingat lang. Even though I have recommendations for today, I strongly recommend you guys wag mo na mag-trade sa market nito. It's very expensive to trade in this market right now. I always, I even told you this in my seminar last Sunday. If you're still practicing trading, especially if nanonood pa kayo ng daily grind, most probably you are still a newbie. Um, one of the things, yan, one of the things you need to consider before trading, and dyan po yung winning formula ko, I always discuss that in the seminars, fundamentals, uh, price, technical analysis, and lastly is the market conditions, right? If you're a newbie, only trade on a bullish market. We are not on a bullish market right now. So most, uh, for your money, if ever may pera kayo sa PSEI, as much as possible, go for investing muna. Why? Because on a bearish market, bearish meaning wala pong investors, wala pong nagpapasok ng pera, ang nakatira sa bearish markets ay mga chupiteros, ang mga traders, ba? Traders lang. And most of, this is the playing field of the good traders. And if hindi po kayo murunong mag-trade, or newbie pa lang kayo, and you go against the good traders, who do you think is gonna win? And who you think is gonna lose? Diba? Ikaw ang matatalo. So as much as possible, hold off. That's part of the maturity that you need to have when if, when it comes to uh, getting better into trading, right? The patience. Yan po yung sinasabi ko lagi. Pasensya, right? Be aggressive at the right time. This is not the right time to go aggressive in stocks, especially in trading. Kaya po ako sa international market, hindi po ako nagtatrade ngayon. Since it's not a good time to trade the international market, what I did is, I am starting to accumulate. Pinasok ko po yung stocks na mga mura na. Pinasok ko, and then if it goes further down, nag lang ko ng mga bagong supports, I'll be adding up to them. I am doing this because I am still accumulating, um, uh, what do you call this, sanay pa rin ako sa stocks kahit pangit sila ngayon. So, I am accumulating. I'm trying to apply my strategy in PSE. Pag ganitong market, naglo-long term ako, I'm trying to apply it in the international market. Takot pa rin ako mag-short selling. I haven't... Um, haven't got the feel for it yet kasi very un ang problema kasi sa international market it's, it's very unpredictable right now right kahit na pumapangit bumabawi rin naman kaagad so pag nag short ka baka ma mamatay ka rin sa yung position mo so it's really unpredictable so better go, uh, better go for long naman kasi US markets are known to recover naman right away right after these kinds of uh, sentiments 
So yeah, um, better, very good to go long term in the international market, as especially yung mga blue chips nila. Okay? Uh, kasi hindi lang naman si US sila ang clients nila eh. Kahit mabumagsak yung economy na US, itong mga company na ito, for example, McDonald's, sample Coke, <laughs> kahit mabumagsak ang US economy, si Coke sa ibang bansa na mamayagpag pa rin. So they will still go up and go up and magre-recover po yan. Pinaka-affected po dyan ang mga companies na based talaga sa US lang at doon lang sila nag-ooperate. Alright, Gerson, Gerson Kayabyab, ayun nga pala, si Tommy is um, talking about Meg and LHC. Si Meg, kamustahin natin. Alright, si Meg, nagda-drop pa. So, best to stay away from it for now if you're trading it. Pero sa mga nag-accumulate, like uh, what I recommended for Meg, this is good for accumulation. Nag-collapse yung support niya kasi bearish siya market. So, Meg is one of the most affected ones. But we are, good news is we are reaching a very good levels for Meg. So, if ever you're trying to accumulate Meg, wag muna ngayon. You just buy more here. Definitely a buy at this level. And then if it goes further down, man, I will buy more. This is the longest, this is the lowest Meg has been for how many uh, for how many years already? And it, Meg has been growing and growing, di ba? Imagine, presyo niya 2014 pa. Nare-reach niya na. And Meg has been growing ever since. So, that's already very cheap for Mega World. Okay? So, malapit na yan. Just accumulate Meg. Yun yung re recommend ko for Meg. LHC. Uh, guys, again guys, please, ano, uh, please subscribe to the channel and share the video. Pakishare pa ang video ninyo sa mga new, para sa mga newbies po. LHC, definitely still a buy at the support. We have a positive signal for LHC. It's either you buy it at the support or buy it on a breakout, okay? So, mga hindi pa nakapasok kay LHC, but definitely I'm recommending LHC for long term. Dati pa yan, tagal ko na nire-recommend for long term yan si Popey. Dito pa lang, even dito pa lang. Isa yan sa pinakamalaki na huli natin noon. Isa yan sa rason na sumikat tayo. <laughs> when we recommended Popey, uh, lumipad ng bongga. Right. Um, yeah, uh, going forward, I'm still recommending Ali Cipher, uh long term. Jerson Kayabyab, good morning po. MR, sir, MRSJ, salamat po. Bakit po? Down ang market. Down ang market. Um, uh, walang investor, right? Uh, because of the China trade wars and because of the un uncertainty of the international market, um, yung mga markets na affected uh, sa, na mga sa trade wars are not going up. Why? Because the investors in these markets are not putting money because of the uncertainty. Right? Once there is stabilization, that is when they will start uh, putting in money. Pero maliitan lang. Meaning, ngayon, walang investors and kung walang investors sa market, babagsak yan. Right? Kasi walang bumibili ng stocks. Uh, sadly, we are affected um, with the trade wars because Philippine Stock Exchange, napaka-konti lang ng mga investors sa Pilipinas, right? Ang daming chupitero. <laughs> ang mga chupitero naglilipatan pa sa Itoro. E Kaya lalong-lalong lalong lumilit ang pera so, sa loob ng PSEI. Alright, anyways, the main reason is um, we are affected so much by inter um, by foreign investors kasi mas marami, marami pong nag-invest na foreign sa atin. And if they do not put money in the country, in, in, in the index, uh, market tend to go down but it will if the market reaches a very cheap point cheap level yeah papasukin naman yan anyways kahit na bumabagsak si PSEI I mean si PSEI the companies in the country are not doing bad naman we're still doing well that's why it will still go up in the future so konting patience lang pero haba haba na na patience last year pa namin niniintay na mag bullish yung market wala pa rin eh but anyways, that's the market for you. Francis Fahilan, good morning. Jerson Kayabyab, salamat po sa walang sawang pagsagot sa tanong ko, sir. Happy to help po. Uh, ito na yung, parang ito na yung, eh, basta, um, I'm having fun doing this, helping people. And kaya nga, may mga seminars tayo na libre lang. <laughs> Carlo Turingan, good morning, sir Lloyd. I saw you personally. At last, you were taller than I thought. <laughs> Kasi nakaupo lang ako lagi dito. Uh, but yeah, but not very tall. Thank you so much, Carlo Turingan. Uh, it was nice meeting you too. Ellie Flores, good morning. Meg, please. See, Meg naman, uh, we just covered Meg. It's definitely a good company to accumulate. Um, buy levels natin wala pa. If you were able to get in here, what was your purpose on getting in the support? 
did recommend Meg here umakit naman siya kaso nga lang naghead and shoulders ka agad kasi when ni ni nagsusustain yung Clive very sure market uh, that's the market for us um what is your purpose in getting in Meg is it for mid to long term or is it for trading only if trading dapat nakapagkat loss na kayo if ever accumulation naman this is definitely a very good price for Meg right accumulate niyo po yan Hopser IRC and FB po FB is in my recommendations for today. So, I'll cover up IRC for the meantime. So, IRC. Uy, nasa support na naman tayo kay IRC. This is good. Um, yeah, anytime soon. Pwede na itong bilhin ulit si IRC pag nag yan today. Nasa support naman tayo. Raquel Nasasito. Good morning, Lodi. Sa lahat sa mga videos mo. That's what I'm using in eToro. Which put me uh, to the top. Though wala sa top with cash prices. Na Raquel Necesito. Yes, I posted about them again. I want to share this, guys. I'm very proud of this news. Right, um, the end of the month, right, so at the end of the month, lumabas na po ang winners, right, um, I am with Team Itoro Pilipinas. This post is from Team Itoro Pilipinas. Um, this is the top winners of, uh, what do you call this, uh, the competition, international competition, Asia, at the, to be very specific. Lahat ng mga traders sa Asia na sumali sa uh, Itoro competition, right? So, number one, Pinoy na naman ang nanalo. And these are members of Team Itoro Pilipinas. Ayan, sinasabi ko po sa inyo, I always invite you to Team Itoro Pilipinas. Uh, these are the day traders of Team Itoro Pilipinas. If you want to learn how to trade, uh, if you want to trade really, uh, PSC is not a good playing field to trade right now. Kung gusto nyo po manalo sa trading, join us in uh, the international market sa eToro po. Please create an account using my link. And then, and po, dito po, my videos, the videos that I've been sharing you, mga technical analysis, it is so much better. Yung seminars, it is so much better in the international market. Um, especially sa mga bullish na mga assets is because may volume po doon. Technical analysis na lang iisipin ninyo and fundamentals. Madali lang naman ang fundamentals sa international market. So, technical analysis na lang ang iisipin ninyo doon. And as um, shout out to Raquel, this is her, RB Necesito, right? She, uh, her portfolio grew, grew 98% last month, September, 98%. Imagine that. Kaso nga lang, hindi pwedeng kopyahin si Raquel because most probably their risk scores are gonna be very high. But, this is a female and nasa, home, nasa bahay lang ito, home-based ito, itong tao na ito. And this is, she's trying to make training her career. And to the 28%, ang laki po niyan, right? Diba? And number one, si Ron Moss, right? 1,759%. Amazing. <laughs> 1,759%. So, that means if ever may 100,000 ka linagay sa eToro, your 100,000 become one point, became 1.7 million pesos. Tindi ah. Kontakin ko na to si Ron pa. Palibrihin ko to ng dinners minsan. And number 4, si Jeremy Karingal Pinoy din po yan. 411%. Amazing, amazing. And then, FJ Ville. This, ito po yung, yung high-risk account ni, Je, uh, ni Jed Villardo, our trading coach sa day trading, yung nag-seminar po tayo, check out that video. Yun po yung how to day trade. Tinuro lang doon. Hindi lang natin nakita yung live na trade talaga. Because when you're doing live uh, day trading, you always want to wait for the trend to happen. Hindi yung la, may upper high, uh, ganun to. You wait for a trend to happen and sadly, hindi tayo pinakita ng trend doon. So, hindi tayo nakapag-trade. Hindi tayo naka-entry talaga. But, Ang kulang nandoon, I want to emphasize, if you watch that video already, is the patience to wait for a trend. Nakaupo ka lang ang playing mo trend. Kung wala, then do not play with it. Hindi mo papasukin. Ganun lang. And then the technical analysis are already there. Um, charting, um, charting, and then ano yung hinahanap ninyo sa charts are already there. Okay? So that's how you day trade basically. And I want you to create an eToro account. account. Um, go for your virtual portfolio. Uh, a very good friend of mine, June Mainit, has been very consistently winning. Kaso nga lang, virtual portfolio na palang. But that's good because kung sa virtual portfolio, dun kayo matututo if marunong na kayo eh. Diba? Um, and then, that's where you put money in it. But mind you guys, this competition is real money. Totoong pera nila yan. Hindi ka pwedeng sumali sa competition na ito. Uh, 
when using your virtual portfolio, di ba? Meron tayong um, competition sa Investagrams, yung Trading Cup. And then, Trading Cup is trading your virtual port lang. Um, iba doon eh. Right? Iba pag malaki, magtotoong pera na. And there it is. Here you go. International market, Filipinos are winning. Even the first place winner. Nanalo yan ng $5,000. RB Necesito, not in the top 10, but this is definitely a very big win. Okay? Talo pa nga ako niyan eh. Negative ako this month because I focus on the stocks. This woman, amazing. RB, you're watching the Daily Grind right now. Um, two thumbs up. Hats off po sa inyo. Continue to get better. And I hope you also continue our tradition here in the Billionaires Club ng Financial Freedom 101 to share your uh, knowledge, share your experiences, and share um, share everything. Right? Inspire traders to be like you. Right? Be like RB Necesito. Join us in the eToro um, trading world, eh, trading the global markets. Create an account. Please use my link po when you create an account. Uh, that helps Financial Freedom 101 a lot. And if you trade using that account, uh, malaking tulong po yun sa Financial Freedom 101 para makontinue po natin yung ganito mga programa at makapagbigay po na tayo ng libreng seminars to all other Filipinos. So please make sure you create an account. If hindi nyo po nagamit ang, ang link ko in creating an account, please send me a message para eh, ma-request po natin ma-under sa atin. Hindi naman po masayang yung uh, para makatulong na rin sa Financial Freedom 101. Okay, so I want to minimize this again. RB, um, Jed Villardo, Ron Moss, and Jeremy Karingal, congratulations for winning last month's competition. Nag-refresh na naman po yan. Uh, may competition na naman for October. So if you want to join that, uh, just search for, sa Google, search nyo po, eToro uh, Trading Competition. Um, makikita nyo po dyan yung link. Okay, laki nun, $5,000, di ba? Going back, Arkel. Um, Aris de la Peña, sir, good morning po. Any thoughts po kay BRN, FNI, more power, and God bless. By the way, we're gonna be starting our discussion at around 8.45 to 8.50. Yan. Alright. Si Ar Aris de la Peña, sir, ayun, um, BRN, BRN. Ayun, nag-break ng MA20 si BRN, so... Mahirap, mahirap ito. Uh, do not get in BRN yet. Most probably, it's gonna go back to support. Yan, ayun problema sa PSEI ngayon. Because walang ilang investors, uptrends, napaka-short lang ng uptrends natin. Sadly, that's the truth of PSEI right now. So, medyo mahirap po. Um, FNI. Let's see. FNI, nag-break na rin ng MA20, so hindi na nag-sustain. Um baka bumagsak na yan okay masyadong exaggerated na kasi tong akyat na ito eh sorry sa mga naipit dito if naghabol po kayo eh, that should be a lesson for you guys okay wag po maghahabol Roel Camacho good morning sir Lloyd Vul CPG MRC downtrend na po ba si VUL hindi rin nagsustain ito rin si VUL ang ganda sana ng news pero hindi nagsustain ang MA20 um Yes, yeah, so far, mababa yung pinapakita sa atin. We're seeing lower lower lows. So, konti ingat lang muna kay VUL. CPG. Ito si CPG, one of my favorite stocks. Nagsusustain, kahit bearish yung market. Um, I will recommend just, uh, what they call this, just accumulate this stock. This is a buy for me. This is a very good support for uh, B CPG, but I strongly recommend just, uh, what they call this, just accumulate this stock i've been recommending this for how many times already for long term this is going to be the reversal of the century i hope i'm right but look at the second quarter numbers that's a very good sign 215 percent first quarter numbers 28 percent last year 72 percent that's why i've been recommending this because paganda ng paganda yung earnings and it, we're starting to see it in the prices already okay cpg this is a good dip um accumulate cpg cmrc MRC, hindi rin nagsusustain eh. Um, still, uh, is touching the lower Bollinger Band, pero meron pa naman tayong support dito, so we can't say for sure. Um, still on a sideways, hindi pa naman siya down. Then, John Vincent Pleto, Sir Lloyd, insights po ka ICT, na, naipit ako eh. Cut loss na ba? ICT, nag-bounce sa MA20 ah, di ba? Ay, hindi. Hindi pala si ICT yon. Um, where did you enter and what supports did you enter? Is that is that this support? If you were using this support, 
then you should have cut loss already. But IC2 overall is a good company. Maganda namin tong company na ito. If ever malaki ang ipit mo, if ever dito ka sa taas pumasok, um, just average down. I will recommend averaging down. Pero mamaya ka na mag-average down pag bullish na ang market. Let it drop. And then you start averaging down. If ever wala kayong pang average down, I want you to watch the video that says uh, YouTube. Kawawa naman tayo. Mga top feed natin sa P Pilipinas. Puro artista. <laughs> YouTube.com um, Search for how to average down. Ang dami na natulungan ng strategy na ito. Especially sa PSE. Maraming ipit. How to uh, average down. Aver search your average down Lloyd Bazaar. Okay. Then, ito yung, I didn't cut loss health. Right? This video right here, how to average down without adding money in stocks. This will help you for stocks na ipit po kayo. Okay? Watch that video. Um, Tommy, Coach, pwede kaya ilagay sa last will and testament para sa anak kong account ko sa call at 2 Trade Asia? Will there... Will there, uh, will there acknowledge this one? Yes po. Mas maganda pa nga po yan if nasulat ninyo para specific kanino mapupunti. What if dalawa ang anak nyo, di ba? Mahirapan po yan. Um, place it there, but your kids will need uh, estate tax to pay estate tax. Around 10% of how much your um, how much your call financial account is or, or your investment accounts are. Okay. So, for example, you have 10 million there. They should have 1 million available para makuha nila yun. Now, ay, speaking of that, so I want to give this as a lesson also. Hey, so mga may edad na, please send a message to Apple, uh, Apple Pie or us in Financial Freedom 101. We'll talk about estate planning. Let's talk about estate planning a little bit. Right? Kasi sa si insurance kasi, pwede nyo pong gamitin as estate planning. For example, you have assets worth, let's say, you have assets worth 10 million already before po yan makukuha ng mga anak ninyo or ng asawa ninyo at mapapangalan under them they have to pay estate taxes right estate taxes natin ngayon is around 6% but plus the attorney's fees and the processing and everything uh, we always put it at around 10% so if you have um, you have uh, 10 million worth of assets there you should get uh, life insurance worth at least 10% which is 1 million. Kumuha po kayo niyan. Para po um, pag may 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 appointment tayo ni Papagad eh hindi na po sumakit ang ulo um, ng mga naiwan natin and they will get that uh, they will get that amount. Ini yun pambabayad nila. Uh, pwede mo sabihin sa attorney mo na I have this plan, use this uh want the money here, use this for the estate uh, estate processing. Right? That's a very wise way to do that. Kasi dati, oy, dati, 30% ang estate taxes. So, if you have 10 million worth of assets, if may kotse ka na ganito ang amount, <laughs> ganito, ganyan, mga bahay, lupa, your family has to raise 3 million first. Hindi naman pwede sabihin na um, pwede ang kasi 10 million yan, uh, 7 million na lang ang kunin namin sa inyo yung 3 million. Hindi pwede. They have to have 3 million available and that's gonna be very hard. Utang na naman yan ng pamilya ninyo. Right? So, if they don't have 1 million, mangungutang yan sila. Sayang po yan to get the 10 million. Eh, 10 million, baka lupa pa yan. Hindi pa nila mabenta ka agad. So, utang na naman yan. So, to avoid that, get a uh, life insurance for that. You can get a life insurance or even a VUL if, if bata pa kayo. So, that's one of the uses of life insurance, right? For estate planning to shield for the expenses of, uh, of estate planning, di ba? Konti lang nabayaran ninyo, nasagot na yung estate, plans, estate expenses, di ba? Okay. Pa Paolo Hardiniano, good morning. Um, yeah, to answer Tommy Escobedo, pwede naman po yan. It's just that have them prepare for estate uh, estate tax. Yun yung mangyayari usually. Ang pinaka, eto, eto ha. Sabihin ko sa inyo, ang loophole dyan. Especially for your 2 Trade Asia or Call Financial or other uh, what they call this, makapagalitan ako ng gobyerno nito. But anyways, this is what the veterans have been doing, my veteran friends in to trading. They let their, uh, they let their uh, spouses, kids, know the username and password of the account. Right? Of the account. Usually kasi, ang accounts na ginagamit natin, if mayroon tayong asawa, is joint account naman, di ba? Pag joint account yung accounts ninyo, 
um, if they know kasi yung call financial niyo, if ever alam nila yung password, all they need to do is sell the stocks, then withdraw the funds. Huwag niyong sabihin sa brokers niyo, huwag niyong ipasabi sa mga partners niyo na pumanaw ka na. Leave these instructions. Just withdraw the funds. It will go to the bank account. Kung partner niyo po is part of the bank account, she can withdraw it right away. That's the easier that's the easier way through it. Kaso nga lang, if ibigay niyo po ang passwords ng trading accounts niyo at makita ni misis niyo na pulahan kayo, ang laki ng loss niyo, baka pagalitan naman kayo. So it's up to you. <laughs> Nasa inyo na po yan, but that's a loophole you can always you can always cover. I mean, you can always um, take advantage of. Jan, uh, Jason De La Cruz, good morning Sir Lloyd Reco for MBT and Bloom Sir, si MBT nag-green na um, MBT, malapit na tayo sa buy. Actually, accumulation po ang uh, ang ganda ng volume ng bounce na MBT. Eh. Actually, this is already a buy for me. Did I recommend Metrobank for today? Wala siya because it's still aggressive on the downside. Downtrend pa rin siya overall uh, dito. Alright, let me just make sure I'm sharing the screen. Very good. Because tinignan ko po ang trend niya, downtrend. We're still on the downtrend for MBT. Right, if it does a breakout and then creates a new support, then that is a res uh, that will be a buy for me. But kahit po magalak yung green MBT overall still on a down. Just accumulate if gusto niyo na pong pumasok ngayon. This is a very good sign to start accumulating MBT. Uh, Bloom naman. Right, so it's 8:47. Um, three more minutes we're gonna be starting with our discussion. Si Bloom nagfail. Yung support niya, so I would stay away from Bloom, yung mga blue chips especially if pabagsak ang mga, ang index natin, una ang bumabagsak ang mga, what do you call this, ang mga blue chips. Okay. Um, asa na ako? Nawala. Right, Paolo, Hardiniano, Jason, ayan, nabasa ko na si Jason. John, Arroyo, good morning sir, Web. Pure gold, pure gold, nag, um, bumagsak na naman. Si Web is in my recommendations for today. Uh, we'll cover that later. Si pure gold, uh, very heavy on the downside pa. So, konti ingat mo na kay pure gold. Stay away from it. But definitely, um, pag binigyan na tayo ng buy signals niya, this is a good company. Negative siya for the second quarter. Pero this is a consumer company. Napakaliit po ng... Um, inflation natin for the next coming month so this is going to be very good for these uh, for these uh, institution uh, for this company for this uh, industry yung consumer industry so yeah retail industry is going to be looking good maganda naman ang maganda naman ang earnings ni pinapakita ni pure gold last year and this year second quarter nga lang medyo negative sila negative 18 so may, mo, that's most probably the reason why bumabagsak siya but for, so for now ay ay ko muna siya i-recommend Hi sir, Tugs po. Si Tugs, accumulation strategy for Tugs. I've been recommending Tugs for accumulation for quite a while now. Pero, yeah, may support na si Tugs eh. Right? We have a good support right here and this is still a divergence level. So, accumulate po kay Tugs. Reversal na po ang nakikita natin sa kanya. It broke MA20 the last month and then nag-stabilize na naman sa baba. This is already sideways so it's time to accumulate. Wala na po yung downtrend niya. Okay, uh, if it goes further down, then just keep buying more. Um, that is from Apaging Lara. JD Gonzalez Palihog, palihog sa now, Sir Lloyd. Si now, starting to si now sa seminar namin. Eh. Downtrend pa po. Um, very heavy momentum on the downside. So, I think this is still gonna go down anytime soon. Pwede natin bilhin, but for now, medyo mabigat pa si now. Pip din po, Sir. Thanks. That is from Roel Camacho, si PIP. Pepsi. And so, after the bad news na magtitigil na sa Slack nila, bumagsak rin si PIP. Let's see if it will bounce at the support, if ever. Um, tingnan lang natin for PIP. Uh, Salis, Sir Lloyd Meg, please, what to do po? Ipit na ipit po ako. Si Meg is a good company, right? If ipit po kayo dyan, better to average down. If ever po, um, ayon yung mag-average down, just do the video, this one. Watch this video, how to average down without ad adding money in stocks. That will be the best. Don't worry about it. Kahit po kina JFC, kahit po sa ibang stocks, naiipit po tayo sa mga um, long term kasi pangit ang market ngayon. This is just, this is okay. Meg is a good company overall. Zenzura, good morning sir. Nakabili kasi ako ng stocks na CHI 632 pesos per stock. Please give me idea po kung paano i-benta ko na ba ngayon or hold ko. 
any insights C H I. All right, so it's eight fifty one. We will be starting with our discussion in a bit. Six thirty two. Ay, maganda yung bilhin mo ah. 6.32. So, umaakit siya ngayon. Kaso nga lang, mukhang magpupull back ito. Um, this is the support right here. Use the MA20 as your support. Medyo malayo-layo ito. Very tricky. 6.32. I'm, I'm not sure ano ang strategy mo. But, at least man lang, yung 6.16 ang support natin ngayon. This, this was the previous resistance. Um, Nag-breakout siya. So far, so good naman. If it breaks that support, then definitely... Um, Di naman kasi pang long term tong stock na ito eh. So, if ever um, bumagsak yan and your stop loss is hit, just get out. By the way, CHI si is handled by Ayala, Land, uh, Ali, if you don't know. So, yeah, for me, it's hold right now. Silas, coach, ask ko lang po si Mike. So, nakover na natin yan. Alright, so let's go to our discussion for today. But before that, we want to thank our sponsors. Guys, if you want to join us in trading the international market, create an eToro account. Please use my link. Libre lang po mag-create ng account. Kagandahan po nito, if mag-create po kayo ng account, bigyan kayo ni Itoro ng virtual account, virtual port ka agad na makapag-practice kayo around the system. And it is in line with our topic for today. Ang topic ko po ngayon is top 3 best traders to copy this December, uh, this October. Ayan. So, let me just edit the name. Alright, so here are the top 3 Traders, I want you to check out for this uh, for this month, right? So number one is for those who are watching na who don't know what copy trading is first. Um, copy trading is a system in eToro wherein if ever wala ka pong oras mag-trade or hindi ka po marunong mag-trade at nagpa-practice ka, lang, ka pa lang naman, Huwag mo muna gamitin ang totoong pera mo. If you have real money in the account, then you can always copy people. Kasi sa copy trading po, for example, this guy, um, this is his statistics. If you copy a person, makikita niyo po ang statistics nila under stats. For example, um, F -G uh, J -V uh, F uh, Jed Villardo VLL HR. Jed Villardo. Uh, FJVIL HR. So, high risk account ni Jed Villardo. This is a Cebuano who's a day trader. 56% po ang gains niya for September. Um, makikita niyo po ang statistics niya. If you look for this guy, makikita niyo po una ang feed niya. And then, and I'm a gold digger. <laughs> Nag-day trade kasi ito sila. So, um, you can see their statistics. If gusto niyo po ang performance nila, sa tingin niyo po, oy, this is uh this this guy is doing well and I want to copy him. Just click on copy. And then once you copy, uh, hindi pala pwedeng kopyahin ito kasi high risk account nila ito. Ang risk score nito tingnan niyo po 10 kasi nagde-day trade sila. Hindi pwedeng kopyahin yan. For example, unang i-recommend ko si Olivier Danville kasi. So let's check out Olivier Danville. Just click on copy. And then, kung magkano po yung gusto nyo ilagay, I recommend starting with $500 to $1,000. And then, just copy him. For example, this guy last year, if kinopyan nyo po siya this year, 2019, sa January, start ng year, um, he is already earning around 7.40%, right, sa investments niya. If you copied him January, 7.40 na rin ang nakita ninyo, right? So, whatever success he got, he uh, he achieves onwards from the moment you copy him, it is replicated on your account also. Okay? Kung manalo sila ng 100%, you are gonna win 100% also. So, FJ Ville kanina, um, if ever kinopya niyo sa simula ng September, nanalo siya ng 56%, nanalo rin kayo ng 56% for uh, September. ba? So, ganun lang ang copy trading. Simple as that. And this is, sounds too good to be true. This is the best trading system out there para sa mga newbies kasi kumukopya lang kayo habang nag-aaral kayo. So, hindi naman sayang yung panahon habang nag-aaral kayo, hindi naubos ang pera ninyo, tumutubo siya because other traders are handling it for you. Right? Um, libre lang po mag-copy trade. Wala pong bayad yan. Si Itoro po ang nagbabayad sa mga taong ito. Right? Um, right. So, the first person I want you to copy is this guy right here. Ito tatlong ito andyan po sa video description. Makikita nyo mga pangalan niya. Olivier Danville. Let's look at the statistics of Olivier Danville. 
Bakit ko po siya i recommend Because this guy is has consistency all over his statistics. Right? Consistency, wala pong negative years, uh, negative months po yan si Olivier Danville. Kahit na um, po bumabagsak ang mga stocks, this guy is all green. One of the reason is he is very low risk, very, look at that risk, one lang. Pinakamababa pong risk yan. Okay? So, one lang ang risk score niya because he is very picky. Matag matagal po yan siya bago umakya, um, pumasok ng stocks. And pag pumasok siya, dapat sure na sure. And why is he doing good now? Because his majority of his trades, nakikita niyo po dyan sa statistics niya, this is, uh, again, everything is transfer transparent. Um, he is doing Forex majority. right? Frequently traded is GBP, JBY, and GBP, USD. Ito po yung tinitrade niya lagi. And gold, 18%, uh, 8 percent of the time. Okay? Makikita niyo po dyan. Right, and he's already gaining. Last year, 1839. This guy is low risk. Now, I want you, I am I am saying top three because I want you to diversify. Wag po isang tao lang kinokopya ninyo. Kasi that's the key to investing talaga. It's really about diversification as many as you can. Okay? Olivier Danville, so that you have a low risk trader who is consistent. Meaning, umaakyat po na umaakyat for sure ang investments ninyo. Right? So, pick a low-risk guy first. That is the base of your investments. As much as possible, pinakamalaki sa investment niyo on a very consistent growth uh, trader. So, I'm strongly recommended, re recommending Olivier Danville. Ang pangalawa ko po i-recommend sa inyo is this guy right here. Um, now, we already have a low-risk guy. Next is Omar Etza. Omar Etza. So, I wanna recommend Omar Etza also. Right, Omar Etza, um, he's already up 28% this year. Right? Kung kunopian nyo siya, January, you would have gained already 28%. Uh, 2018, 30% po ang tinubo ng port niya. Amazing. 2017, 497%. Kung may 100,000 kayo linagay sa kanya, naging 500,000 noong... 2017. Average uh, risk score is at 4. This is, eto niyang kanina, di ba may low risk tayo? Now we have an average risk, right? A medium risk na trader na kakopyahin. So I recommend this guy, Omar Etza. Um, the, the lowest he got is July 7.28, but look at the other months. Very con um, very good numbers naman. In September, 6.26 siya. So I recommend this guy, especially this October. Bakit? Again, Ang pinakamaganda po i-trade ngayon onwards are gold and forex. Ito po yung magandang i-trade. So, you look for these guys for this kind of market. Huwag po yung nagpo-focus sa stocks. Tulad ko, nagpo-focus ako sa stocks. Naglo long term lang ako ngayon sa so, support ko. Kaya medyo pulahan ako ngayon. Um, hindi medyo. Very red right now. But they're for long term. They're still, um, they're just paper losses. US markets just recover. So, I'm just holding them for now. Anyways, Look at these guys. They're doing well in Forex and commodities. Tulad kanina ni ano, Olivier, nasa Forex trend and commodities. This is very good to trade. Um, yeah, I recommend this guy. Only one red month, 7.28. But, nare-recover niya naman. Very consistent third, uh, in the gains. 30%, 400%, 28% for this year. I strongly recommend this guy. So, at least meron na kayong low risk and medium risk. Okay? Now, the third one is optional for you. Are you looking for another low risk? If low risk player naman kayo, this really depends on your risk appetite. Me, I am in a medium risk appetite. So, I am recommending a, another medium risk person. But, before I go to the last person I want you to copy, um, just click on copy people. Copy people and I want to show you this. Uh, meron po dito sa mga editor's choice. Magandang kopyahin. Nire-recommend po yan ng eToro system. Yan, automatic po yung system. Sino mga consistent, ang mga trending. Linalagay po nila dyan sa taas. Top investors. So, I want you to scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Huwag lang po sa most copied. Uh, I want you to go down to these two. Low risk scores. Kung low risk player po kayo. Or, you can go to medium risk score. Kung medium risk player po kayo. Ito yung mga guys na playing around 5 to 6.